Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. So how did you get into the industry? You got in in 2010, right? Yeah, like like the beginning. Um, January 2010. Yeah. I read your Wikipedia. Woo! Um, I was a stripper. Okay. And I met someone, and they were like, you should do porn. I was like, mm, okay. Um, and I just, it was just very like a kind of random thing that I decided to do. Even stripping was very random for me. Mm -hmm. It was really out of curiosity. I was like curious about this world. I was like, what is this seedy underground world like? I want to check it out. (laughs) And so every time I was doing it, it was very much like this experiment for me or like observation. I was like, oh, this is so interesting. What? Oh, oh, this is weird. Like that was very, I don't know. A part of me feels like I'm still doing that. Still like observing. I'm like, what's happening? Why do these people do this? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> how did you feel about stripping when you started it? So I was so nervous. Like that was so out of like character for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was in character in the sense that I was always very adventurous. But like I wasn't like um, tying up your naked girlfriend and putting her in a box. Yeah, but I was always up for anything. I was like, yeah. okay. But I but being a stripper probably seemed like that kind of came out of nowhere for my friends. Um, but I I was so nervous. I like went in there. And I didn't want to admit that I wanted to be a stripper because I was like, I don't know how to dance. What if I'm bad? Mm-hmm. And I, <laughs> I said, well, if I'm bad, I want like, okay, I knew they'd have me if I went in and was like, I want to be a cocktail waitress. I knew that they would convince me to be a stripper. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, well, if it's, the, if they're the ones that want me to do it and I'm bad at it, it's their fault, not mm-hmm. mine. Okay. So it was like more to save me the embarrassment because if it was more, <laughs> I could be like, yeah, I could be like, yeah. hey, I wanted to be a cocktail waitress and you wanted me to get on stage and I did and I'm bad. This is on you. Yeah. Um, so, and it worked out as planned. It was perfect. They were like, well, why don't you be a stripper? And I was like, really? <laughs> me? I, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh. They're like, you can start Monday. And it was like Friday. And oh, my God. That was like the most nerve-wracking week- weekend of my life. I was like, oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. And they were like, don't worry. We'll have like a veteran girl come in and teach you things. Like, didn't. Oh. So on Monday, there was like hardly anyone in the club. And I went up on stage. And I got up. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm feeling this. I was like, ooh. Oh, yeah. And I was like totally digging it. I was like, I like this. And there were like two young guys on the stage. And finally, one of them yells at me and goes, Take off your panties. And I was like, <gasps> and it just like burst my little bubble of eroticism. I was like having a good old time. And I was like, oh my God, how rude. And I was like really appalled. I was like, how dare he? You want a jerk. Um, and the rest is history. <laughs> oh my God. So wait, did you take off your pants? Like, did that just throw you off the rest of your set? Um, I, I probably eventually took off my panties cause that- did you keep them on for a little while longer just to spite him? I don't like, remember. I'm not going to do what you say. I, was, I, just- I don't think I had that much confidence at that time. Okay. I wasn't like, yeah, fuck you. I was, it was more like, oh my, oh, 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 what do I do now? If I take him <laughs> off, then I'm just doing what he says, but I don't even remember what I did. <laughs> they told me they're like, first song you dance, second song is your bra, third song is your panty. Like there was like, you know, a routine. Wait a minute, and three so, songs? Yeah. Like full songs? Yeah. That's a long time on stage. That's, that's about standard. Is it? Yeah. It's like three to four songs. Oh, I haven't been to many strip clubs. Yeah, that's like your set is like okay. three songs. Okay. And it's like, you're like, you take your, your bra off after. So you do first when you're just like, well, I'm so pretty. Second song, you take your bra off. Oh, looks my titties. And then the third song, you take your panties off. Summer is here and Manscaped is here to help you level up your full body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it is guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts. And if you want to use it on your chest hair, it actually has different settings so you can get the perfect length whether or not you're the kind of guy who likes to be a little bearish or maybe actually wants a bare chest, literally. 
You can get all of this inside the perfect package where you will find the Crop Preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer, as well as the Crop Reviver, a testy toner that is designed to give you a pep in your step. If you subscribe to the perfect package, you will get a blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months. So what are you waiting for? Make this your best and most hairless summer ever. Go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. That's manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Huh. Last one. And so they yelled at me before the third song, so it just really threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do I do now? This is not the protocol. <laughs> you had a very specific itinerary that you were following and it ruined did. it. I did. And so I was like, God, this is okay. Well, I feel like I, that was a good experience actually to have the first time. Mm hmm. Because throwing me off is actually really good for me. Okay. It like, I'll, I'll remember that next is. time I shoot you. I like it. I'm like, whoa, okay, I'm okay. Um, but yeah, I was like kind of observing the girls. I danced with a Tourette stripper. Oh, um, what? Okay, yeah. we need to talk about this. So I had a locker, and this must have been like my first or second day. I was really new. Mm -hmm. And a girl walks in, and she has the locker next to me, and she opens it, and she's just like, do, do, do. And then she goes, and like kicks the, the locker and it startled me i mean she kicked it like full force and i was like oh and i was like oh my god are you okay and she was i'm fine and like walks off and i was like that was weird okay and then and then like later in the night i was at like the vanity doing my makeup and she was on the other side of the vanity it was like a double uh -huh. and so i couldn't see her all i could hear her and i heard her again it was like and she kicks the wall and i was like oh my god Hello, are you okay? <laughs> and she was like, "Yep." And so I come to find out she was she was Russian, so she didn't speak English very well. So she was a Russian Tourette stripper, <laughs> and she, her Tourette's her thing was like she'd kind of squeak and kick, but when she danced, she wouldn't get her tick. So she danced like she was a great dancer. Like she was like great pole dancer, and people would come in and be like, "Is there a Tourette stripper here?" I was like, "Yeah, but she doesn't do it when she's dancing." Oh, man, she well, should incorporate that into her set. She'd well, be a star. I guess it's common for people with Tourette's to there if they like follow certain like like dancing or sing or something, then yeah. they their tick doesn't happen. But once they stop, it like happens. So that was her thing. Huh. That is funny. Oh, so I was really hoping that like she was going to start screaming out obscenities in the middle of her. Set. No, it, that's why I didn't. It probably would have been more normal if she just screamed obscenities. Like mother, God, God damn it! I would be like, oh, that's she. She didn't get a tip. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just thought like, oh, well, she's having a bad night. But like squeaking and kicking was not like on my radar for um, Tourette's. <laughs> Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their Lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the Perfect Package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.